And now to a CBS4 News consumer alert. New this morning, according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, booster seats for children riding in cars are getting safer. CBS4's Kirsten Martinez takes a look at which seats came out on top and which ones parents still want to avoid. 20 of the 23 booster seats new on the market this year are deemed a best bet by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Three were rated good bets. In this year's uh, booster ratings, there aren't any seats we wouldn't recommend. The nonprofit research group tested both high back and backless seats, measuring how the seat belt fits an average child in just about any vehicle. What we're looking for is that the lap belt sit low across the top of the thighs. It's not riding up on the soft tummy. And the shoulder belt needs to sit snugly at the center of the shoulder. It shouldn't be falling off the shoulder or riding up on the neck or face. But the IIHS still recommends parents do their homework before making a purchase. We found booster seats from previous years, which are not recommended, still for sale through many online retailers. The IIHS is calling on manufacturers of six older models that are not recommended to stop making them. But if you have one, don't throw it out. Just get a new one as soon as possible. The IIHS says crash tests prove any booster seat is better than no seat at all. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles.